Hello there everybody, it's Sally Cathcart here and welcome to Tuesday Teaching Tips with Sally. And today I'm going to be just thinking a little bit um, about motivation and how we can help our pupils, how we can help to unblock our pupils' motivation. I don't know whether you've got any students who, who just lack mojo, you know, who don't learn their music or just don't bring their music with them or just generally over a period of time don't seem to have kind of, you know, the, the, the push that's needed. Well, maybe instead of thinking about our students, we can turn it around and we can, we can think about how we can unblock their motivation. Because motivation is, is a fairly natural state. We all are motivated to learn. There isn't a single student around, a single human around, who isn't motivated. But what can happen is things can get in the way to block motivation. So if we've got students who are not motivated in our piano lessons, then maybe we have to think about what it is that we're putting in the way, what obstacles are in the way that is causing that uh, lack of motivation. So um, let's think about this. We've been looking at this in the, in the Curious Piano Teachers this month in January. And uh, here's just one idea for how you can help to unblock your students' motivation. And that is in lessons to make sure that you mix it up, make sure you that lessons are are different, make sure that they're always got different elements to them. So three ways you can help to mix up lessons. Um, change, use a variety of teaching styles. That can be one way. So instead of just being completely teacher directed or telling the student what they've done wrong, give the student more of a voice. That's a really powerful thing. Ask the student, oh, what went well there? You know, what did you enjoy? How could you make that better? What ways could you do it differently? So give the student much more of a voice in lessons and that helps them to really clock into their own motivation really. So that's one idea. Um, the second idea is to move away from the piano. And I think this is important with all students actually, uh, both young and old students. So for example, with my younger beginners, we will probably spend a portion of the lesson that we're not sitting at the piano. So it could be that they're standing around the edge of the piano. I don't know whether you can see, but just here, you know, they can go and stand around there or they can even stand on this side of the piano, but I get them off the stool. Or even better, I go over to the floor and I have my floor stave or something like that so that we can just have a break so we can mix up the energy and I get on the floor with them as well. With adults or with if teenage students, um, depends on the teenage student, I must admit, but uh, with my adults, for example, yesterday we were starting away from the piano. We were starting with a warm up. So we were starting with breathing and sort of the, the ABC, the alignment, the breathing and the concentration all away from the piano. And then we came over to the piano and uh, I asked them to kind of make friends with the piano, just listen to the sounds. So mixing it up, uh, that's another way is not to spend all your time just sitting at the piano stool looking at the music because that is quite um, it can kind of what's the word I don't know solidify I think it can lack energy and that isn't good for any of us really and the third and final way I'm going to suggest I'm just going to check my notes is yeah that's right to vary the difficulty level of the repertoire that students are learning so if you're always giving hard pieces, you know, pieces that are at the top of their uh, playing ability, then it means they're always slightly struggling to, to master. So it's good to actually mix it up a little bit. Make sure that they, yes, have a piece that is going to stretch them and that they're going to learn over a period of time. But also there's the satisfaction of being given a piece. Actually, they can learn it in a week and learning pieces very fast, um, but well, I mean, obviously, you know, is highly motivating. We all get slightly stuck if we if we do this in the middle of my my Facebook live. Um, so hopefully that's given you some ideas for how you can help to unblock your students motivation. That's just a handful about mixing it up in lessons. There's plenty more. But do think it's us that has to unblock their motivation. They already have it in bucketfuls. Okay, have a great Tuesday wherever you are. See you soon. Bye for now.